It feels as if we are living in uniquely precarious times. Of course, this has always been true, at least for some of us. But today, our lives and our children's futures are being shaped by unprecedented fires, floods, pandemics, and political upheaval. Both human and non-human forces wreak havoc on our expectations of stability. In trying times, solace and inner peace can sometimes feel difficult to come by. But we can still seek out quiet moments and spaces where we can open our eyes and hearts to encounters with the unknown. Drawing with paper and pencil or whatever is at hand is a simple, accessible means to become more mindful and balance our inner and outer worlds. Time slows down when we start drawing. Our attention shifts. We can set aside our worries and fears about the future and draw ourselves into stillness. Unlike the distractions of, say, Netflix or a crossword puzzle, drawing helps us not to escape, but instead engage deeply with the present moment. Drawing provides a protected, sheltered place to reflect on our experiences, ideas, and observations. As we draw, we enter the virtual world we have created. We record what we see, or maybe images and stories that emerge from our minds in the process. There are infinite methods and subjects to explore. We each have our own individual curiosities and points of view. As we look out toward the horizon of possibility, we all see something different. Drawing helps us get to know our particular perspectives better. We become more aware of the limits of what we see from where we sit. We can envision alternatives. Looking down roads not yet taken, we may picture what adventures might await. Where can the process of drawing itself take us? We can follow a suggestion, a squiggle, shadow, or smudge and see where it leads. Drawing helps us take advantage of the ways we use our hands to think and communicate. Human hands are capable of an astounding range of deliberate and reflexive actions. Of course, we make and use tools with our hands. According to the brain, when we draw, the pencil becomes a physical extension of the hand that holds it. The hand, pencil, and mind are one. We use our hands to gesture. Using gestures in this way to communicate precedes words. Before she can speak, a baby reaches out her hands toward you, and you know she wants to be held. Any good comedian knows how to use their hands to engage their audience. Drawing integrates tool use with our abilities to think and communicate symbolically through gesture. When we move a pen or pencil across the drawing surface, we leave the traces of our gestures behind. We draw out models of real and invented objects, actors, and scenes. We pull them apart and put them back together in new ways. In daily life, spatial analogies permeate our thinking so completely we don't usually even notice them. We'll say we need to turn things over in our minds when we want to analyze a subject thoroughly. We try to get on top of a situation, cover a topic, uncover the facts, or put a difficult issue to the side Drawing is all about the relationships and movements of forms in space. We make marks in two dimensions on the drawing surface, and then we play with them in the virtual, three-dimensional world of the drawing. Drawing often enables people to express emotions that are difficult to say. For some, drawing let them acknowledge or accept feelings that they were unaware they had. Drawing together also created a shared experience. It was a fun task, and there was always a lot of laughter. I didn't come up with those words. They were actually written by Heidi Edmondson, an emergency medicine consultant in the UK's National Health Service. She conducted weekly wellness sessions for her medical team during the height of the pandemic. For those on the front lines or during the long lockdowns, so much we had taken for granted was just no longer available, but paper and pencils were still at hand, ready to help us process and share difficult experiences. They connected us when we felt so disconnected. They provided an arena for introspection where we could learn about ourselves and share thoughts and feelings with others. Drawing as a practice takes time and patience to develop. Over time, it becomes a habit that can help slow down and make meaning out of otherwise random, disconnected experiences. We learn to find beauty in unexpected places. We can use drawing as a tool of thought. It can enhance our ability to closely observe 
discover, and invent. In the face of global pandemics and ecological disaster, everything we can do to cultivate and nurture human resilience, ingenuity, and understanding is of value. Our continued existence and perhaps all life on Earth depends on how well we are able to think and work together. We must imagine and build a future world we all want to live in. Drawing together, metaphorically, but also literally, could play a part.